we're just about to begin some really funny stuff, okay? Because what's next is Milo Yiannopoulos. Yeah, that's right. We got to talk about Milo Yiannopoulos. So for those of you who don't know, Milo Yiannopoulos used to be the darling of the alt-right, okay? I know, get comfy, press that like button, subscribe to Demon Mama. Him, indeed. Let me show you. Milo Yiannopoulos, the, dar the former darling of the alt-right. This is what he used to look like, okay? This is what Milo Yiannopoulos used to look like. He doesn't look like this anymore because he has converted from being gay. He is no longer gay. Uh, I feel bad for him, but if he's happy, I guess that let's be real. We know he's still gay. We know he's banging the leader of the cult. And for those of you who don't know, um, Milo Yiannopoulos now works for a Catholic cult called the Church Militant. They are a hardcore right wing Catholic sect that is actually like anti the Pope because the Pope is too, uh, too progressive. Okay. And as like 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 all infamous miracles, they come at a complete surprise. We have been following Milo Yiannopoulos for some time, and today he surprised us with a new video. But it's not just any video. It's a new video in his series of Christian television sales pitches, which we have had so much goddamn fun with over the last couple of months. Um... And, and, and we're going to find out today what exactly Jesus has to sell for, sell for you on Christmas from Milo Yiannopoulos. And we're going to see him have to sit in a room with an old lady that obviously hates his guts. It's just, oh, it's just so good. All right, everybody. Let's do this. Are we fucking ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm fucking ready. Wait a minute. Hey, where'd my link go? Hey, I dropped my link. I dropped my link. Oh man, I, I can't, I've been so excited for this shit. This is, this is going to be so much fun. The last time we watched this, we were laughing so goddamn hard. I am so fucking excited. Okay. I want you to see what we have now. Without any further ado, Milo Yiannopoulos' Christmas special selling you Christian stuff you never knew you needed and you still know that you don't need. And... Milo Yiannopoulos looks like your older brother who just landed a job as the manager of a local Best Buy. Which is impressive to say the least. It's quite the glow uh, sideways, I guess. He's gotten rid of the shitty mullet. Now he's got uh, short hair and a scraggly beard. I don't know if this is part of the de-gaining process, but Jesus Christ. It might be a glow down. Capo says the fact that he engaged in what is unmistakably sub play with his daddy Dom cult leader on camera in a way unmistakable to anyone familiar delights me to no end. Yes, there is no way. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Milo Yiannopoulos, for all of his horrible flaws, for all of his terrible bullshit, has indeed figured out the perfect grift. You see, our theory, which I believe is well supported if you go and watch our previous videos on Milo Yiannopoulos, is indeed that there is a sub-dom relationship between the leader of this cult and Milo Yiannopoulos. And I'm telling you, if you don't believe me, go watch my former videos for yourself and see it. It is so ridiculous. It is so loud. You're going to see it probably poke through a little here, although he's not on the video with Michael Voris this time. Michael Voris being the cult leader, okay? Listen, this has been just... It's been a beautiful journey. And I have to say, I do feel a little bad for Milo sometimes. And then I stop feeling bad instantly. Because remember, even if this guy has had to bend himself backwards to be able to enjoy what the rest of us can do all the time. Um, it, it you know, he still pushes horrible anti-gay bullshit. Even though he's torturing himself, undeniably. He still pushes conversion therapy, which is pretty fucking shitty. So let's, without any further ado, enjoy a Christian infomercial, which you never knew you would ever have to see, but now you will. With me, Demon Mama. 
It's Christmas special at Church Militant. Church Militant is the name of the cult that Milo now works for, in addition to working at Best Buy. It looks like they're going to be selling some more books. It looks like they've got some drugs on the table. That might be the good stuff. Um, they've got like a little thingy over here, a little sensor. I'm pretty excited to see what comes up. Yeah, he's like overtly a Nazi. Yeah, he, he, he JQ'd all the time back in the day. Yeah, what happened to him? Well, he went through an uh, older brotherfication process. Uh, though, some of you have heard of bimbofication. Some of you have heard of objectification. But this is older brother who works at Best Buyification. Let's go. Shop. And we've got some, we've got a lovely selection. You put together a lovely selection for us, Deborah. It's going to be fun. All right, let's get straight to it. Okay. First of all, one of the most popular items in the store, um, it's the A Year With collection. Tell us a little bit about the series. Uh, what's what's the purpose of these books? Well, wait a minute, well, they sold these can... last time. Hold on, I have to move my camera. I have to move my camera so that you all can see what's happening here. These are the books. They sold these last time. They jump right into the fucking pitch. No fucking dilly-dallying. Now, last time we watched, we had a theory that these two hate each other's guts. And... As it turns out, Milo has significantly more swag than Ruth or Deb. Sorry, her name's Deb. Okay? Yeah. Um, Deb does not have any swag. Swagless. White. Um, Milo is also somewhat swagless here, but as you will find out, he is much funnier than Deb, and Deb hates all of this. And you'll see. It's going to it's going to get bad. Follow um, the different ones, the year of the saints, one's the year of the Bible, the year of a uh, year with Mary um, and a year with the church. Is that the Milo Yiannopoulos? Yes, this is the same Milo Yiannopoulos that used to be an alt right figurehead. Yes. Unironically, yes. He does look a little like Mayo Pete, doesn't he? Is Milo trying to become a bear? No, he can't. Milo, see, Milo is a bottom. Hardcore. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The only people who could think that Milo uh, could be bearish and not a twink are people who aren't gay or have never talked to a gay person. I'm just telling you. It's, it's, this is just the bottomiest bottom energy ever. Okay? I'm just saying. So you're focused on the different aspects and you can follow along and um, you learn so much. I mean, it's just, it's got so much wisdom and history in it and um, great passages that uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So I think people are familiar with the format of these, but in case they're not, you, you, basically you have a, a long extract from a classic work of theology or philosophy or, or prayer. Already getting the negging. Followed by sort of thoughts for the day, ideas, right. and then a little closing prayer, right? And you can and start then, it at any time of the year. Yes, because it's not, it doesn't say January the 14th, it just says day 48. Day so whenever one. Okay, seriously though, can we, can I, can I be completely real? He doesn't look any less gay. He definitely looks like your older brother. He definitely looks like he takes like a $35,000 a year salary from a local grocery store, but he still looks gay as fuck. Like, so gay. It is, he can't suppress it. Yeah, he looks like he's, yeah, exactly. He looks gayer, but visiting for Christmas. That's true, Capo. No, no straight man has ever worn this. Yeah. And through day 365. Well, so this one is the one that we're um, showcasing today. And this is a year with the saints. Um, gives you a sort of whistle stop tour mm -hmm. of a lot of the uh, coolest, most important, influential and impressive. Okay, saint. okay, hold on. I have, a, I have, I'm sorry to, to distract already, but I have a, a very, very important clip. Um, I have an important clip that I have to show you. Oh. This is the TikTok that is Milo right now, okay? This is Milo in TikTok form. Behold, be fucking hold, okay? I really like my nails being off because I feel really like mask. Oh, yeah, especially with those rings, mama. So mask. It is. It Watch. Wait. Uh, very mask, mama. Yeah. I'm very high. <laughs> I really like my nails being off because I feel really, I really like, like my mask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we mask, mama. We mask. We mask. Oh, yeah. We mask. I'm very high. That is Milo all day, every single day. 
the in intensity. Oh, we mask. Oh, we mask. That's Milo. Okay. I'm just telling you. That's Milo right there. You don't need anything else. You just understand it. We mask, mama. We mask. We mask. Ooh, yes. We mask. I got his fucking at. I know. I got him pinned. Milo Yiannopoulos was not prepared to be owned by Demon Mama. Okay? Not prepared. It's lives to emulate. Right. For people to learn from. Yeah. So you have selected. You have selected. Oh! Uh, they won't let him pick another verse! Holy shit, they won't let him pick it! Okay, for those who are lost on the lore, last time he picked a literal verse about submission. About being submissive to a man. I'm not kidding you. He read a verse about being submissive to a man and how your thoughts should all be about your your husband and God. So this time they made Deb pick it. He didn't even get to pick the verse this time. Oh, he's getting cucked. He must have gotten punished for that one. I bet daddy gave him a spanking. Love it when he reads. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> you see, so, so what I've noticed about this one is, is uh, on all these different pages, the quotes all seem to be either from saints or from people who are on their way to sainthood. Mm -hmm. um, now, you've said day 129, the subject is the blessed effects of receiving the Eucharist. And the introduction. The is blessed effects of receiving. Hmm. Maybe he's still going to sneak in his messaging here. What happened to his hair? I'm just warning you. This is very strange, okay? This is going to be, this is an hour long sales pitch. Settle in, get something nice to drink, be ready because this is gonna get fucking weird. It's uh, St. Catherine of Siena related what God- It's a special, everybody. About the, great, uh, the, the great benefits of receiving his son in Holy Communion. Like a seal on hot wax, he instructs the sacrament leaves a divine impression on the soul. Isn't that a lovely metaphor? It's lovely. Um, although it does contain within it the, a warning, doesn't it? Because just as wax can solidify with this mark of the seal in it, if you wander off the plot, it can melt again and you can lose the impression of the seal. How you true, know? how isn't true. That, this is a really lovely uh -huh. metaphor, isn't it? Uh -huh. So this... Um... Deb, having never done anything exciting in her entire life, is t totally... Sometimes you just fall into sin. Sometimes you eat too much... Uh, you eat too much sweet potato casserole at the party, and that's gluttony. Meanwhile, Milo over here is like, last weekend, I fucked 45 people in the bathroom of the Catholic school. And, uh, and, and Deb's like, once I, once I had a few too many marshmallows that at Halloween. I'll, I'll just read you the whole thing. Uh, so this is uh, from St. Catherine of Siena's Dialogues. See, dearest daughter, the excellent state of the soul who receives, as she should, this bread of life, this food of the angels. We mask, Mama. We mask. By receiving this sacrament, she dwells in me, and I in her. Just as the fish is in the sea, and the sea is in the fish, so I dwell in the soul, and the soul in me, the peaceful sea. In that soul, grace dwells. Oh, Since wait, 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 wait. Lesbian gamer. Don't look look look. Let's not make any mistakes here fucking 45 people in a bathroom at a Catholic school as long as it's not a kid's school or Like a college or something is cool If you go to the local Catholic college and fuck 45 people you are pog But as far as I know you aren't out there advocating for conversion therapy and selling Christ trinkets at the same time, right? Yeah, exactly Exactly. Receive this bread of life in a state of grace, my grace remains in her. After the appearance of bread has been consumed, I leave behind in you the imprint of grace. Like After you're done, something stays behind inside of her. Hmm. A seal that leaves behind its imprint when it's lifted from hot wax. In this way, then, the power of this sacrament remains in the soul. That is the heat of my divine love and the mercy of the Holy Spirit. The wisdom of my only begotten yeah, it's got son SpongeBob also vibes. remains there in you, by which the eye of your mind has been enlightened to see and to know the doctrine of my truth. Together with this wisdom, you have a share in my strength and power, which fortify the soul against sensual self-love, against stock the devil, music. and against the world. So you see, the imprint remains when the seal has been taken away. 
Through my divine arrangement and providence, the abyss of my loving desire for your salvation has come to meet your needs. I have given you my son, sweet truth himself, as food in this life where you are pilgrims and travelers, so that you may have refreshment and not forget the benefit of the blood. See then how tightly bound and highly obligated you are to love me in return why because i love you so much holy first of all that's really abusive just because somebody loves you does not mean you have to love them back first of all okay you do not have to just because somebody loves you you do you are not obligated to love them back even god holy shit and as the supreme and eternal goodness i deserve your love and that's in catherine insecure god jesus christ um relating God's words to her, of course. Um, it's lovely, and and uh, there's a there's a there's a, a questions to consider at the bottom of the page, and a closing prayer. Well, who is the ideal customer for something like this? Well, anyone that wants to know more about any of these, um, and and you can collect these, you know, um, but it. It just, um, if you if you go through it and do it for a year, it it just makes you more. It makes you appreciate the saints more, learn more about them, and you might um, read what what they what like like she said, God came through her and, and gave her those thoughts to put on paper. So you might delve into that saint more, you know, somewhere else and, and get more research on her, and it might um, she might you might connect with her or another saint. Or any of these, um, and do more history on them. They're nice springboards, in other words, They're aren't springboards. they? They're springboards. You can you can read a bit. Of this. Oh, well, that's so. This is another thing. So separate from the personalities of the people involved, okay? Um, separate from everybody who's involved with this, there is of course the analysis of the sales pitch. And I gotta say, fucking Debbie, you gotta wake the fuck up. I don't know if you need another coffee. I don't know if you need an Addy. I don't know if you need some fucking sativa. I don't know what the fuck you need, but Milo's like, so who's the ideal customer? And she's just like, well, it's a really nice, it's a really nice book. And if you read it, the book about the saints, you might learn more about the saints. Holy shit. Like, now I know why they needed to call in the big guns. Now, Milo is a salesperson. You can tell he's good at this shit. He keeps the energy up. He keeps it kind of fun. I mean, we can laugh along with Milo a little bit. I mean, this isn't a very fun topic, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly. Debbie's here sitting that she doesn't, she, she's sitting here hoping that they don't, she doesn't have to sit next to the fairy anymore. Yeah, literally, literally. Look, you can see it on her face. She's like, oh, I hate this guy. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll read more of, of, of St. Grace of Lisieux or whatever. And whether you read in the morning or whatever time of day when you are by yourself and, and um, can do that, it just... Last time, oh yeah, last time, unironically, Deb said that the, the ideal audience was everyone. For, for every gift. She just literally said everyone. Like, what? That doesn't work. What? That doesn't fucking work is um, the thing that will ground you and make you think about your holiness. And um, like that Eucharist, I mean, what better way to um, grow in your knowledge of that by thinking of it in those terms. That was beautifully done. Well, yeah, it's, 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 um, the thing that's nice about this book is um, this is a, a new edition it came out in 2013 <laughs> capo capo says oh wow it's one of those any time of day books wow deb thank you right <laughs> right <laughs> fucking right milo's like i can't stand this lady i hope that she gets fired and i take over the shop i wonder if that's what's happening i wonder if deb is going to retire soon and they're kind of pushing her out the door so that milo can take over and just have a cushy job in the shop where his daddy can come visit him whenever Right? Wh literally, like, wh who the fuck says, who, who the fuck's like, oh yeah, you could read, it's a book you can read at any time of day. What book can't you read at any time of day? Like, like, porn? 
so it's not one of those books that sort of photo you know they look sometimes like they're a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy mm -hmm. this is a very crisp fresh setting very beautifully in de uh, designed on the inside with these sort of gold spooky books oh true you don't want to read those before edging. bed right uh leather covers i think or it might be that lovely yeah is i'm it pretty leather, sure or is it the, I, it smells like leather but maybe it, um oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Oh, they didn't have their product details on hand. Uh oh. No, this is the this it's is the, the premium. This is the ultra soft, like that yeah. lovely duet reams yes. we've got. So this is the one that will really take a beating if it's in a bag for a year, you know, mm -hmm. and you're taking it out with you to work. Um, it's the paper I was smelling. Yeah. yeah, I can smell it too. <laughs> yeah. um, the other thing that makes this a nice gift is it does have the presented to page yes. on it. So, so you could it, give it as a nice gift. As That's a Christmas a gift, it's got space for an occasion and a personal note, so you can. Uh, you can pre-finger wag to you, to, you, to you. Do you find... He's even... Oh my god! That's another thing that's really funny about Milo Yiannopoulos. There's a lot of times where he can't suppress his cattiness. So you can pre-finger wag? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> he does... He. Oh my god. He, oh, he slipped. He fucking slipped up. Love it. I find it easy to do these, um, th to, to make these and, and, and to, to fulfill these daily commitments. Because I have to be honest, I sometimes will start well. Mm -hmm. 10, 15 days, I'm doing fine. 30 days, I'm still in it. The homosexuality, the homosexuality just jumped out. Yes, mama. Yes, mama. <laughs> don't you find it hard to get your stuff done? I don't know. When, when I wake up in the morning, it's so hard to start my readings, mama. And it's not that I'm enjoying it any less, but I get swept up in things and, and so I find myself sort of petering out at around the 70 day mark. Do you find this easier well, the than thing, me? The, the 70 nice day. What, what do you mean? The what, a, what a fucking random number. I find myself f f falling off after 70 days? What? What does that mean? Who? I feel myself falling off after 123 days, about. There's, it's not like a consecration book. Um, you do it's have to meditations. Do. So it's it it should draw you in to make you want to do like this is my favorite part of day when I can, you know, just um, relax and meditate and um, feel this. And so it should be a joy. And if you and if you do have to miss a week because of the uh, whatever might you come know, Sober Flote, I mean, you got you just it. Pick it up again. That's true. And and you know you don't have to feel as though if you miss it you've got to start again. You right. know anything like that? Right. Cuz it's, it's not dated. It's up to you. Right. It's not dated so you can if you need to um, do that. I think it all falls back really on the quality of the extracts, doesn't it? As to whether it's going to draw you back from day to day. And mm -hmm. this this chap uh, Paul Figpen who I think has done all of these. Yes, he did. Um, I've got one or Wonderful two of them, author. and and I've, I've sort of leafed through them. It's nice being able to come in here and kind of leaf through. Them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say go steal twenty minutes and just have a read. Um, the, the, he does pick beautiful passages, not just passages that are significant and important, but beautiful passages, things right. that are lovely to read. And I don't know if we called um, the attention to the the ribbon there that we can, you can have your place. Yep. You're up on page fifty three or wherever you are. Um, you can. Put that up the really glad they have a book for the sometimes zealots yeah remember this is an organization called church militant and they're like the, the way they're selling it is like you know if you want to read some bible no this shit is extreme this shit is like hardcore these guys literally are like explicitly anti-gay they explicitly advocate for um for for uh, a, a theocracy it's fucking absurd. And they're just like, oh, you know, if you have a little hard time, you know, maybe you just want to pop it open on Easter and become a fundamentalist, you know? Ribbon on there and you know right where you were. I'm a fan of green and gold. And this is lovely because it's a metallic gold. You won't be able to see it on, on, um, on the camera, but it's a, the, the, the ribbon goes with the binding really nicely. Mm -hmm. you know? It's very high quality. Very nice. It I mean, it, it does retail for $44.95. But it's very well done. The stitching on there, you don't see that on very many. It's got this lovely embossing on mm -hmm. the front and the back, mm -hmm. which I think is, is, is super. And they look nice, especially when you start to collect them. They look nice as a little right. cluster, don't they? I will yeah. say, this is a nice, this is a nice, you know, hold on, wait, how do I get the, can we get the frame? Hold on, let's see. 
right there. You know, this does look kind of nice. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. This is a nice embossing on the side. That's a nice bookend, you know, or a nice, uh, a nice spine, rather, I should say. I think that's pretty nice. Looks good. Especially when you start to collect fair, them. Fair, fair, nice fair. Hey, hey, credit where credit right. is due. Cluster, yeah. Don't they? they look good. Forty-five dollars so better be. Forty-five in the store. A year with the Saints. Uh, and the others. One of the others. We've got lots of this. A year with the Church Fathers. Mm -hmm. A year with Mary. Um, we've got lots of these. A year with the Bible. And a year with the angels. They're wonderful. The angels. They're very popular <gasps> and um, very, very highly recommended. A year with Michael. That sounds like the title of a fucking romance novel. Fucking incredible. If, a year with I would with say if angels. you're someone who's struggling with their prayer life, mm -hmm. you find because look, people find it difficult to pray on their own, don't they? Yes, they people do. People find it difficult to pray out loud when there's no one there. They find it difficult to pray in their own head. If you want something that's going to get you in the habit of doing something every day, even if I know you're pros. Kind of whose mind will wander and you find it really difficult to get through a rosary in the morning, or really difficult to get somewhere for a morning, but most people realistically don't go to morning prayer every day. Right. Um, unless they walk somewhere like this, you know. Um, it's a good way of getting you to think about the right kind of things, even if you're someone who can't quite make it through a full rosary in the morning or something. And there are lots of people who struggle initially when they're coming to the faith with prayer. And even people who've been in a long time, you know, they, they find it difficult to pray alone. Right. And I just want to say, you know, I am blessed to work in this store and I, I love... Falgaia brings up a good point. Falgaia says, to be honest, I'd pay $45 to be talked down to by a biblically accurate interlocking series of rings, Angel. Yeah, but see, unfortunately, this is just a book. You're not buying the experience. You just get to read other people writing about it. It's kind of lame. Vermin says, this is just a guided meditation. I wish they'd say it. All Christian prayer books are just guided meditation. It's the same, the exact same business model that New Age wine moms... Uh, 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 use to sell their books about guided meditation, it is the same thing. There is no difference. One is just Christ flavored. I'm telling you. It is, I have seen a thousand of these books. They're all the same. Yeah, copy pasted verses and quotes. Because guess what? You can't steal from the Bible. You can just put a book that has nothing but Bible quotes in it and s Christians will buy it. Yeah, it's self love for Christians. It's self-care for Christians. Uh, the chicken soup for the for the fundamentalist soul. Of books, I think that for some people they've become um, obsolete because of all the media and places you can go online and everything. But to sit down with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, with it, I can't a let book, you know that good um, faith actor. Especially one that's going to to in essence guide you in so many ways. Um, it's it is uh, one of life's treasures i think it makes a difference doesn't it when books are are beautifully produced because i think you know when people have got kindles and things like that it's definitely destroyed any sort of anything special about reading just an average paperback mm -hmm. but it has sort of made a sort of special opening if you like for books that are, that are nicely produced mm -hmm. books that are put together well that recall oh, yeah, the good okay, old days when, you know whenever they, it, 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 it puts you in a different mind and you know the sales pitches, it reminds you of the good old days. The, the font, I think, is some kind of, what is that, Basque? Some kind of old, lo lovely old-fashioned font, beautiful kind of uh, uh, gold-colored watermarks, and, and actually they change from page to page, you see that? Yes. You see that? You'll have to, oh, right. I, I, I'll, it's, I'll, it's very nice. It would be hard to see that on calendar. Yeah, but, but you'll, perhaps you'll be able to see just in that bottom right-hand corner, these lovely watermarks change. It's blocked by the it. it's blocked by the DVD. It's fucking blocked by the DVD. Oh, oh. This is something that has a lot of care and attention. Oh, and it looks so nice. Darwin Sim, thank you so much. Our favorite sub is back on the sales floor. What's he peddling now? Um, uh, yeah, uh, he's peddling a, a an angel statuette, an um, an oh, uh, a DVD. Um, some drugs and an enchanted sensor. Let's go. Oh, you know, and um, thank you I for like the dono. That are tangible, Deeply appreciate it. Yeah, you know? yeah, and, yeah. Uh, We've it's got cool. lots of tangible things. We have lots things to of excite, in fact, things. Th things to excite multiple senses. You have you have chosen you hear for that? Us a sensory play. Sensory Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, Next item is the now annual church militant calendar. 
This is a bit of an insider's treat, isn't it, for people who love the Apostolate, who watch the shows, um, who love Church Militant so much they want to, you know, see an image related to Church Militant when they're, you know, writing down which day they're going to go do the groceries. Right. Why don't you talk us through the, the, the calendar, because you were quite instrumental putting it together, I think. Yes. Um, so the calendar came out like... Vermin says, God said do wax play to take the edge off of never masturbating. Don't you think that's just going to make it a little harder? I, I, might, I think it might make it a little harder. It might be a little bit, a little bit more difficult. Just saying. Last year, at least this style, I don't. I I uh, started like two years ago, and as far as I know, there wasn't a calendar before I arrived. A church militant calendar. Per se. Thank you, Holic so, Master. Um, Thank they you. They gave me this as my baby to um, develop and work on, and Ryan um, did the photos. Oh boy, here we and go. We collaborated and. Holy shit! I'm sorry. Can we get a close up? Yes, we can. Look at this shitty photo. What a t what an ass photo this is terrible first of all photograph of a photograph secondly what is this bullshit lighting and why would you put that on the cover doesn't jesus deserve better than this really doesn't jesus deserve better um Fucking last Christ. year was fun and thank you everyone that bought them last year but this year um it was it went a lot smoother and um <laughs> so it's difficult the first time you do something yeah. isn't it i've never which done we'll, anything which we'll like get that to before in a minute, yeah. <laughs> so um so i'm very very excited about it um shall we start with the cover yes why don't i hold it up while you'll just while oh, you're this is gonna be so sad so i wanted to shot you know it's they blocked said, they, you it's know, blocked by your own graphic you idiots you're blocking it with your own graphic and your DVD cover. Oh my God, they're so incompetent. You give me the ball, whatever, whatever you want. And I'm like, I want to see- This is like that Mike Wazowski joke. Pit, because that's, we call this the pit. This is where everything happens. Um, all of the news, the, you know, the info hour. Oh my gosh, the download, Headlines, all of the interviews. The yes, and so I wanted to, I wanted everybody to see I wanted everybody to see where um, where that happened. So I had Ryan and I talked about it, and I'm like, "You got to get the shot of the." Oh yeah, you got it. You got the best shot imaginable, a fucking the worst lighting you can possibly imagine. Uh, a a a image that says, "Serving Catholics with staggering mistakes." Like. Can you guys see this? Serving Catholics with staggering mistakes. The lighting is just horrible. This is so bad. Holy shit. Do you, th yeah, do you think he's sabotaging it? Do you think this is sabotage? Or do you just think this is boomerang? So he, I feel like it might be a mix of both. Um, I think he might've even been on a ladder No, it says news shot, in the back, But he news. really captured it and the fun part about that's this true. Is if you that's look true. That's true. Very Silent. close, you can see Boris, <laughs> and I just love that. You can, about that's the cult leader, by the way. You hear that? If you look very close, you can see the cult leader. Oh, how exciting! You get to see him. Love that about it. It's like finding. Oh, yeah, you, it's like I, where's Waldo? Like, where's... But it's it's Boris. <laughs> he's in there, and you, you got to kind of look. Um, I know where he sits, so it was really easy for me. But he is there, oh, and I it's didn't... just a little. Do you want to? You want me to show you? I was gonna say. Oh. No, no, I, I know where he sits. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna. I'm gonna spoil it for the viewers, but. Uh... Of course you know where he sits. Of course you do. How many days have you spent under that desk, Milo? Uh, I was going to say this, it's got a nice metallic finish on the front as it well, does. hasn't it? It's it does. Nice, it's quite a good quality calendar. Yeah. I'm, I'm so, so happy, and so is Ryan. And, and we have, I'd like you to show them over here that that's um, St. Michael lit up, oh. because we think so much of St. Michael at St. Michael's Media. And over here, um, you'll have to see it when you when you get it. I hope you buy it. Um, that that's definitely please had buy to it. be in that. Please, please buy it. Please, for the love of God, please buy it picture in that shot it's a lot of fun doing it do you want to maybe pick out two of your favorite photos from the calendar sure. to talk about a little it's bit? so easy to do all right here um, we go but i don't want to forget to talk about the coupon code because every month there's a coup please please buy our calendar you, you won't regret it it's got all all the strategies for maximizing your faith coupon code and so it's going to correspond 
with you getting um, ah yes that uh, is a calendar when yep. you check out you will get a discount so, so you can put a coupon code in for that month on the calendar and you'll get how much faith you get off. <laughs> faith maxing <laughs> Yeah, I'm face I'm faith maxing these these days, bro. In the store. I, that part I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. I don't know. You'll get some money. I off. think it's at least five percent. And, and just as uh, well, infinite, the, infinitely more. In fact, delightful than the coupon code right. is this. So Wonderful. the coupon code goes with the. It's a picture of a statue with a crappy cloud background. Is it my last vid from two weeks ago? Uh, it's, yes, the, the cult, there's multiple. Uh, somebody get the links for Puerto Rican Musician so they can catch up. We got to put it all on a, on a list. In fucking incredible. Picture, or it tries to go with the coordinating <laughs> picture every month. But, um, yeah, so it's, it's uh, very exciting. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Well, why don't we just very quickly show, I mean, we don't want to show all the pictures. It's no. nice to have a surprise, isn't it, when right. you get them. Why don't we show, let's see, what about, well, that's lovely, isn't it? Should we do that one? Sure. Okay. Here is a photograph. Okay, well, why don't you, why don't you talk us through it? It's the Eucharist. So. Well, it's the Eucharist, and, and again, this. Okay. So this is what it looks like when somebody who doesn't know how to do photography tries to do tries to emulate artistic photography okay i'm going to show you watch this i'm going to show you watch this i'm going to you're, you're about to this is what you come to demon mama streams for okay ready out of focus out of focus out of focus out of focus this is where your focus is right now this is where your focus should be right now including on the fingers. Is the word Eucharist calling Jesus a sea slur? Oh my God. You might be right. Oh my God. Holy shit. Now that's a throwback. This is Ryan's expertise. I, I told him I wanted a shot of the Eucharist and he came up with this and it's it's really, really lovely. He's quite talented, isn't he? He sure is. I love working with him. <laughs> oh, Brian is also the uh, videographer and- Wait, Brian is the guy who does the fish videos! Brian is the guy who does the fucking fish videos that we watch! <gasps> and editor for this uh, uh, That's him! Show. That's We're holy mackerel! Looking at him he's, right he's now. He's sitting in the he's, corner shaking his head at him bashfully. <laughs> yeah, don't Very worry. With, yes. Okay, so we won't spoil it for you by having... I like that one. Now that's uh, yeah. We're not telling you what's in it even all of it because <laughs> well, otherwise it'll spoil it for you. It'd be nice right. to get nice that's to get true. it and find out. When I get one of these cameras, uh, excuse me, one of these calendars, I don't flip through it. I just open it to January, okay. leave it at January, so I actually get a little surprise in February. I'm like, oh, okay. So, well, I think we should show the back though, because oh, because sure. because the back is is instrumental. It gives all our information, and um, it, you know how to get a hold of us. It gives our address, our phone number, you know, the online uh, dot com, how to get to us. We go by St. Michael's Media Church Militant, and. Um, and then we have the memori. Did I say that correctly? I think it's a memorari, isn't it? Okay. I always get. So I always much better than me. I always, no. I always get stumbled on these things. Well, I think it's your turn to read a little something. Mm -hmm. I think you should give us. Listen, listen. People always ask me. It's become a burden now. People always asking me to read things. <laughs> I think we need to hear it in uh, the dulcet tones of Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you give us give us a crack at it? So, um, well, first of all, I just wanted to show you the picture because the picture is pretty special too. Um, so remember, yeah, the waspy passive aggressiveness is just dripping. Oh God, it's so bad. It's so painful. It's like radiating. It's like fucking. Uh, uh, it hurts. You almost, you almost feel for Milo, but then you stop because Milo's an asshole. Her almost gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. Mumbling. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother no of the Lord incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Yeah, maybe maybe Deborah yeah, exactly. Maybe maybe Deborah should take up mumble rap. 
I mean, Jesus Christ is a pretty fucking, you know, I mean, Virgin Mary is, you know, amazing. Anybody who prays, yeah. It's a lovely prayer. It's a lovely prayer. I've got that, so... I have a lot of trouble memorizing prayers, memorizing anything really. I can remember hundreds of lines of plays that I was in in my Ooh. early 20s, but I can't remember a thing from last year or this morning. So I have terrible. Bruh. I can, I can read you Bruh. like Oscar Wilde plays backwards that I was on in co I was in, in college, but. Um, but uh, I, I have terrible trouble remembering prayers, so I have this, you know, I've got the, the, the holy cards in a little booklet, whatever, mm -hmm. and the memoir is one of the ones that I, that I like, that I, I read regularly. Now, I've, I've actually, we've got a little bit more information about the calendar. So the calendar is, it's only 1995 for that lovely foil-stamped front, and it's big, and I can tell you the photograph quality really is excellent. It's it, excellent. It, and it, it's, it's got the gloss. Hard. Do you ever think that stuff like that is like a cry for help? Do you think that's like a, like a cry for help? And you know, a, a lot of, some of the- Isn't Oscar Wilde a well-known queer author? Yes. Like, very gay. Very gay. Do you think Milo fucks or is he a turbo virgin? Milo fucks. We know this. We know this from before. Milo was always seen with, like, all kinds of random guys. People last year um, said, well, it's hard to write on there because it is glossy. So I went to them and I asked them if they could do on on the on the months if they could do it um, matte so that it would be and This one is right. But what yeah. happened but what happened was when you do that you lose the integrity of the beautiful pictures and I said no we can't do that. So I suggest when you buy this calendar that you get a fine tip sharpie that oh, seems yeah, 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 to yeah. work the best on this because okay. we didn't want to lose anything on this. So, and it is such a lovely, yeah, yeah and the thing It's a bit, nice weight. Yeah, so it's get some nice kind weight. of marker, a thin- Do I think he didn't stick to his celibacy? Are you fucking kidding me? You think this guy is sticking to celibacy? Are you for real? Are, do any of you really think that? Do any of you buy that? I don't. There's almost nothing that could convince me that this guy is celibate. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Milo? No, come on. Come on, come the fuck on, guys. It's just, Jesus Christ. Tips, felt marker, yep. or a Sharpie, and it'll mm -hmm. work fine. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the Church Muslim 2022 calendar not only has lots of photographs, but it also has discount codes with 5% off in the store, and it also helps you- 5%, that's it? Mm -hmm. It also helps you through, through the liturgical year, because it lists feasts, days of obligation, and then a couple of Michael and Church Militant right. related special dates that if, you'll know if, about if you're right. a Church Militant fan. If you love Church Militant, this is this is very intimate. It has, you know, our personal things in here about Forrest. Um, even a picture of me in there, which I... That was Ryan's fault. It's this, the one thing it doesn't contain, Deborah, <laughs> is, you know what, never mind. I'm not it about it. It does not it's contain fine. a picture... No. Oh, he got snubbed. They couldn't put him in. He was too gay to go in the calendar. See, you almost feel bad. You almost feel bad. Milo, it's fine. But, I, I didn't even know, want to be in it, really, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. He's I'm, shooting I'm, for the cover I'm for next year. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad. I mean, frankly, I'm glad I wasn't asked. Because um, that means I can guilt trip you to the cover next year. I know. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. It's Awkward. fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, worst, worst vibes. Worst vibes. Just the worst vibes. Oof. All right. Uh, <laughs> since, since, we're, since we're on a tear, um, we, let's turn to this. Is, so this is like 1995. You can find this on the website. Just go to churchmilton.shop. Uh, and there's a banner at the top uh, for, for, for that and our next product. It's only fair yeah, putrid, since it just is putrid. A, something that bears my, my name on it that you talk about it <laughs> rather than me talking about myself. Um, right. I know he's not going to say a word in this segment. <laughs> Holy fuck, this is painful. This is so painful. All right, I'll start us off then. <laughs> Uh, See? So, how has the last two weeks in the store been for you, Deborah? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> because we make 
these here. So we have um, three duplicator machines and um, we have masters and then we, we make, a, this is a six place CD set. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I paid my dues. Not what? Can we, can we, I don't, what did she say? A, this is a six place CD set. Trust me. <laughs> okay. I think the opiates are kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I paid my dues. Not only did I record this, which I think if you are a church militant viewer, you have heard us talking about by now, either on the download or uh, or some other product, or maybe when we mentioned it here before, uh, there's a there's a um, an episode of, of this program with Father for Keltic, sure which I think static. you can find uh, mm -hmm. somewhere on the store. So you've probably heard, uh, there's, there's ads for this, you've probably heard about it, ads for the evening news. Not only did I just, but I, I did, I feel like I paid my dues to, I was, I was here one weekend, I burned hey, 2,000. perfect timing. Will you, will you hang out with Milo Yiannopoulos so I can go to the bathroom? Okay. All right, let's continue. We'll just come back afterwards. And then, because I need, I, yeah. CD is my job. Oh, I've uh, paid almost, my dues. Well, almost 2000, almost by myself. Um, anyway. You did. You had your hand in it. I did have my hand in it. Do you know what? Some people, you know, some people would record it and they'd swan off and abandon you to the, uh, to the, the horrors of high sales. But then but he, then... but then Milo found out that I can become Karen. So, <laughs> oh, I better help. <laughs> so, What? When you want to take over real quick? This is this is wild shit. Right now, Milo Yiannopoulos is currently reviewing his own recorded audiobook that was printed apparently by Deborah. And the vibes are fucked. Let me tell you, there there is not a drop of comfort Thank you, Deborah. to be had. Deborah and Milo do not get along. Yeah. Not even in a little bit. So we're going to let Fawn just take over for one second so I can hit the restroom, you know? And and you can comment on Milo's um, right. nonsense. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun. Okay. I, I was... Fun. I, I, help I, me! Help! Help! I'm here, to, I'm here to help, Imps. Hello, everyone. I was watching this in the other room. Uh, thank you, Cyborg Jin, for the, the five tier one subscriptions. And, and hello, hello to you, too, from the Impies. Well, actually, I'm not an Imp. These, you're the MPs. I'm a little bit higher up. Anyway, back to the video, everyone. Look, <laughs> basically, this is probably the most important thing I've ever done. And it it's is a six-CD set of oh. me reading the Psalms and Proverbs. Most of you have heard no, that I, can't I have get done you this anything. by now. I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm not leaving the house There's right the now. cover. On the, return, on the reverse, Hi, you get the track great. listing. Hello, um, everyone. Also a few prayers. I did the Act of Contrition, a prayer of St. Francis. Uh, I did the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. And my favorite, which is uh, St. Patrick's Breastplate Prayer, which is just wonderful. Um, narrated by me and then one of the guys here uh, at Church Militant, Shane, and another guy I used did the audio engineering and uh, Dr. William Mahoney, who you will have seen on the evening news. Got, like, we call him B. We call him B on the download. Do did do B characters on his instrumental music. It has, a, it it has some, just some nice buttons. It's a nice sweater. It's a nice sweater. Um, it doesn't this. belong so in this church militant place. You've been quite busy since this is selling yes. really rather well. It is. It is. It's, go I, it's going I, to town. I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. Because it, uh, hopefully a, it's, it's going to make uh, lots of lots of money for the apostle. We can hire more reporters each one of these I do, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it's, it's going to do well for, for the apostolate. Um, you, you, with a team of elves, yes. have been... Oh my gosh, there's so many well, people I that are helping. The packing, lights are an overlay, and mailing. It's, hundreds of these. So the, pe the, the, the room, wonderful like women, in the Kim and Carol, in the front office, they've been stuffing and, and putting labels on and anything we need them to do, you know, they, they're well, right there for us. And then we have is that Milo Yiannopoulos on the front? Because you know, it doesn't and, look and, like and, him. It looks and, like... Um, it's quite the project, but it, it it's looks like done with love. Bim, Bim and, um, we're so happy that we have so many supporters that love Milo and love to listen to him Stuff read because he does it beautifully. Just and, filling, um, filling 
filling it up to the, the brim. Be a masterpiece. But I don't want to oh, tell okay, you it that. Is him. He just let's, doesn't let's, look let's, like let's settle on tour de force. This <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not. I have had some lovely feedback from people. That's all I'll say. Um, and this is selling so well. I'm not my local. So well. Um, you'll be delighted. Other than the fact that he's going to be doing lots more of them, different ones. So I've heard. The fact that he's gay is not possibly even beginning with a or that his name is Milo and that he is the way. Next year, wish I. That's exciting. My Latin is very Italian, so I. I will say um, my first bit. proper proper priest was, was in Italian, Italian in London. So a there's drunk. a particular way in which I pronounce the Latin prayers. I'm, I'm told this is pleasing to the ear. I of course could not say. Do uh, it then. But the, the nice thing we're going to do with example. these is, is we're going to design them all. They're going to be Let the same sort of sized judge. cases with the same you know layout. Whatever I'm doing. So when you know if you if you, if you do yeah, like I the sound of more than one, they'll look nice as a set. Um, so I, I, I do. All, idea. I actually do all the covers and everything myself because <laughs> this is such an enthusiastic idea. team player and talented yeah, Renaissance man. <laughs> uh, no, we um, no, no, but but, but, but so humble. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got many virtues. Thank you again, Cyber Jim, for the, the additional. I'm working on it. Look. Pride is in Five all the tier, sins, tier and it won't surprise viewers to know that's the one I struggle with. But Keep thriving, without being everyone. too cliched or uh, ham-handed nice about it, this people's... has been somewhat of and a humbling experience because don't, don't I sell have out and got like to this, know bits of scripture this, that I this, didn't know that nerd. well. And, Look at those and, fucking uh, rings. There's some lovely sections in it. There's some funny are, bits this, in it. That's big that, money. That sort of, because it's old-fashioned language, you know, you get sort of a mountain of gods. You got one of those from his boy Boris. A googled mountain. A fat mountain. You're not quite sure what they're on about for <laughs> you know, so there's some there's wild stuff in the Psalms, there's some exquisitely beautiful stuff in the Psalms. I'm particularly happy with okay, my read of the Miserere Hi. number 50, which I think is, yep. is, it's a very, it's... Give Milo the pause. Milo has Fawn. been paused. Thank you, Fawn, for buying me time to go get a beer and take, take a pee-pee. <laughs> You're welcome. Pee -pee wow. I love you. Let's continue. Shall we continue? What did I miss? Did we miss anything fun? Did I miss him uh, talking about his own voice? Like sort of everyone's favorite or a lot of people's favorite. I'm quite happy with how that one went. Um, we, I did I did it a lot of time. I did it about 20 times to, to get it just so. Get it right. Yeah. I know you put a yeah. lot of dedication into this. Well, we were here until 3 a.m. for about two weeks, just getting Jesus. it all down. I mean, it's 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 getting on for seven, seven and a half hours um, edited down, but that takes, you know, that can be up to two weeks when it's something this precious that has to be just, just right. Right. You know? I think everyone will be very pleased and what a wonderful gift to give someone and they have for yourself. Because most of the people ordering this, I have to say, it's more than one. Really? Yeah. Really? Well, I've, I mean, I, I didn't really have anything to do with the sort of pricing side of things, but for the amount of time, you know, the complete unabridged Psalms and Proverbs and the prayers, six CDs, uh, for only $75, it's, it's under price of anything else you could get on CD. Of most albums what? you would buy, you know, mm -hmm. music albums and whatnot. So it's it's, you know, I'm I'm, I'm glad that um, that I have never in my life paid seventy five dollars for any album. Are you for real? Is he really trying that? I mean, I know Christian Christian music is expensive and Christian audiobooks are super expensive. Seventy five fucking dollars? Bullshit. I don't buy it. I don't fucking buy it. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Church Milton has priced it so competitively so everybody can afford it. Mm -hmm. And that was done just for that reason, because we wanted to be able to. Oh yeah, yeah everybody guess. everybody can afford, every person can afford a $75 Psalms and Proverbs narrated by Milo Yiannopoulos. Holy fuck. You know, the six CDs, especially when you get somebody narrating who's maybe like... Who oh, uses CDs? Nobody a, has CD like, players anymore. Cars don't, don't, don't have those. those. You know, the big bucks and... And and you know that the sets are three hundred dollars or whatever, and I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to do that. Well, so. and usually six um, six disc uh, CDs usually start at a hundred dollars. Right, they right, right, do. right. Yeah. So, so anyway, uh, and I, this I, is very well done. This is yeah. um, this is my way of saying thank you to the apostle for taking me in. I suppose like a, like a, like a stray cat, uh, letting me. No have one has CD drives anymore. Letting me write columns on the website and whatnot. So, anyway, um, you, uh, you, you can you can go to the product listing page of this to get a snippet of it and to hear me talk a little bit about it with Father Kalchik and there's various other shows on Church Militant um, Network that you can hear. Notice how ingrained Milo is. Milo's daddy is giving him just the sweetest treatment. Which, you know what? I get it. I fucking get it, dude.
I get it. Being gay in America sucks. Sometimes you gotta hook up with a cultist. Sometimes it's all you can do to live a happy life. Sometimes it's all you can do to get a daddy. You know? I get it. I get it. Yeah, uh, more readings and whatnot, but it is, it is the most important thing I've ever done. And I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very... Well, you're on a great path, and, I, and I'm so proud to call you my friend. And I, I love seeing mm, stop. changes. Just um, liar, just liar. I really do. It's, it's wonderful. Thank you. In the breast British... Okay, uh, unironically, unironically, Milo pretending to be, like, bashful and mild is so fake. God, it is so fake. I suck at taking compliments, so <laughs> we will move on. He can give them himself. <laughs> oh, I love giving them to myself. No, I love giving myself compliments, but I, I don't. <laughs> That's what's so funny about him. <laughs> I, just, I don't know why I can't, I can't handle mm. compliments. All right, let's move on to someone else, something else. Okay. And you talk us through this. Now, look, we always say it. We always say it. We've got one at home. <laughs> I know, and I do. I have this at home. I don't have one. I've got three. <laughs> I mean, it's like I've got three. one in the door, one in the bedroom, and one. You've got three sexy angel Michaels. Hmm. Hmm. It was kind of just sitting there waiting to be gifted to somebody. But so, do you have this one? Uh, exactly. Thank you. One, and this exact one is the one that's in my bedroom. So, um, if I can jump in, please. So this is um, Saint. It's called Saint Michael Standing Font, and that's the first thing I want to call to your attention. You can just set this on a table. It also has in the back a hook, so you can put it on the wall. So you can go either way with this. Thank you. I appreciate just, that. To me, it makes it so versatile. You can put it any. Vermin, don't make this sexy. You can't make this sexy. Even, even linking this to that won't make it sexy. Okay, actually it does make it sexy. Fuck. Fuck! Anywhere. Fuck! I have this in my shrine that I talk about, and uh, I wanna let the viewers know that we have holy water in here right now, and um, that's because um, we had a priest come in here and, and give us a blessing for this whole show, and he said, well, you can't do that. There's no water in there. So he went and got us holy water. That's and, no good, he said. That's no good no without good, holy no water. Good. So he blessed, he blessed all, all of the things that we're doing today. But I wanted Yo, to Yo, uh, spectacular to Snyderman. Attention. Thank you so much for the gifted tier one sub. Thank you. What the fuck even is holy water? How is it made holy? Holy water is consecrated by a priest. Um, It's basically, it's gamer girl bath water, but for Christians. Unironically, it's it's it, it's the same thing. It's 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 gamer girl bathwater for Christians. That's what it is. That's so fucking all it is. Um, holy water has salt in it, so after um, a time, it evaporates. Mm -hmm. And when it evaporates, it has um, the salt resin in there. And I went, oh no, I've ruined it. But all I did was I took a paper towel and I may have moistened it. I don't even know. And it just wipes right out, and it looks like brand new. So I want to let you know if you if you're going to purchase it that that it does it that didn't ruin it because at first I thought oh my gosh it's taken the patina off and you know the surface. Why would you talk about this? Why would you talk about that? What a, this is a horrible thing to talk about in a sales pitch. <laughs> what a oh I I damaged mine. Ah, thank you, Magos. Magos Stonks uh, came in. Um, I used to be a part of the church. Holy water is made by a priest saying Hail Marys while dunking his balls in a basin of water. I believe you. I bet that's true. You get a few dips. That's why they call it teabagging. That's where the term teabagging came from. Thank you. Thank you. Of it off and right. everything else, it's not right, it just comes right out because there's, there's, there's a couple of different ways of making holy water, isn't it? And the traditional way involves using the salt, right? Um, yeah, right, yeah, so we, salt. Uh, yeah, but and we're, we're, and again, we're all about the traditional way of doing things, right? Here, and so. again, you can take that to your priest totally. and get it blessed. We, of course, we don't sell the oh, thank you, water, Vermin, appreciate that. So you'll have to double ink. So we got a second of that, that's how it happens. Piece. This is from this is this is um we've we've we've, we've, we've had some other models. Um, so wait, this costs wait this statue costs as much as his fucking audiobook? An actual statue costs as much as the audiobook, dude. That doesn't. You sell the fucking statue first, right? Or maybe I don't know. Actually, I don't even know. 
I would sell the statue first and the audiobook after because if they're willing to go in on the statue, then it seems like a like a I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not. I can't I can't parse this. I can't even parse this. Trad cats are one weird culture. Add in some gay bashing, you get Milo in the ugliest, least gay outfit in years. It's so sad. It's so sad. And, and statuary like this on previous episodes of the show. This is in the cold cast. Um, yeah. You know what they should have done? They should have sold these in a bundle. Sell these in a bundle. The saints do that. Sell the archangel book, the year in angels with the angel statue for 125. Then offer the Psalms and Proverbs. Then the cheapest thing. You offer the cheapest thing last. Or the very first. You never, this is just fucked up. It's just fucked up. They had to sedate him to put him in the heterosexual thunder vest. Yeah, I, I bet this was hard. I bet putting on this was like, uh, there's a scene, oh, fuck. Wait, 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 Vermin. You remember that scene in Vampire Hunter D? Vermin, you remember that fucking scene where, where the vampire steps out into the sun and he's like, all his clothes are catching on fire and he's like, ah! he's burning that's what it was like to put that was what it was like to put milo in this fucking heterosexual ass vest it's it's the veronese collection which right. you love and i love too yeah. it is just fantastic it is. uh the finish on this one like all the other things i mean you have to give them all the same compliments don't you mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. precision and detail the fineness with which um things are sketched out in this extraordinary and it's it's got a good weight to it. It's yep. True, Vermin. Now, this is com compulsive heterosexuality. This is turbo compulsive heterosexuality. Holy fuck. This outfit burns the, f burns the flesh of any respecting gay. The fashion is burned off of him as a part of being transformed into Darth X-Gay. I don't think he's... I don't think the transformation took. I feel like this entire organization is going to come crashing down in a few years. <gasps> Wait a minute. What if this is the escape plan? What if this is Michael Voris's own escape plan? It's like he was too afraid to end the cult because the cult has gotten out of control. Maybe he doesn't believe it anymore. And so now he's like, fuck, we need to make this the gayest cult on earth to make up for our past sins. Oh, I wish. But I don't think so. The Christ-loving gay dad is a niche archetype. That's true, but who manages the demon mama TikTok? Cherry. Cherry does. Cherry bread. Blessedly not solid block bronze um but it's also he's also got a little bit of little dashes of color here and there isn't he right right there's a little blue down so there that, I think. so it almost looks like texture and then almost the, looks like texture yeah the waves in his hair and the looks on their faces um they've all got expressions <laughs> they've all got good faces. he's got straps in these lovely greco-roman style sandals i mean down and to little the blue. nth degree in detail even on the necklace, you can, I think you can see, I think it's like a Greek key kind of design or something around his neck. Mm -hmm. What's a Greek key design mean? What's a Greek key? Can anybody tell me what a Greek key is? Continue. On the Double tap! But up! Hey, that's good, so that just means last for two months! Intricate, for something of yes. this size. Yes. Yep, this is oh, one of our Ah, crap, them. Lois! I've got three of them in the house and I never really noticed these wonderful um, designs at the bottom, right. which look like they look like if you've ever been to Rome or to Milan, like you know the fountains. That mm -hmm. um, it's absolutely fantastic. And this okay. is again another new. It's just one of my favourites, Saint Michael. Uh, this is another new design. I think this one was released in 2015 or 2016. Right. So it's oh that really? New, There's such a thing as a Greek key. Hold on, I'm willing to be corrected. A Greek key is the pattern under the flower thingies. This? That's a Greek key? Under the flower? This? I don't think he's got that on him. I don't think he's got that above it. I don't think he's got that. This? He doesn't have this around his neck. Right? He doesn't, right? Does he have that around his neck? He doesn't have that around his neck. He has like a key key. Like a normal key. The fuck? The fuck is going on here? 
crisp cutting, if you like, if, or however they make the resins, you know, the mold. Um, it's not, you know, a copy of a copy of a copy kind of design, because you do see inferior quality uh, ones of these, don't you? He says that but all the time. My favorite ones, and, and we have several water fonts that we sell. I think this is the only one that stands right now, because it, it stands There's a pianta, but I think you have to hang that one, don't you? You have to hang all the rest of them. There's, there's a crucifix, there's a holy family. Okay. Um, so... I... No, 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 wait, 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 wait. His vest is not, this is a het vest. Him attempting to, okay, look, guys. The vest is het as fuck, okay? We know that the clasps are not. Those are pretty gay, but, oops. Just ignore that, ignore that, ignore, that's just, that's just a, sc a timed screenshot, ignore that, okay? This right here, this is not, this is not het, okay? This ain't het. Okay, I'm just saying that. All right, we got the details here. That ain't fucking. That ain't fucking head. Okay, just saying. And a, and a few more, but um, so you can look online at the at our choices. You know, whatever um, would go. But this one is house. freestanding. But that one. I have mine. I just think it's the neatest thing. Yeah, I just use those those stick on hooks. You know, mm -hmm. um, in my house. The three M. Yeah, just so just so I don't have to deal with the the you know all the holes in all the walls. Right. right. I'm constantly changing That's my mind about idea. where I want things. I can't I imagine am. that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. The passive aggression. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whew. It fucking it's like raise it off at like heat. Fucking fruity. You're fucking. Oh, I bet you do. I bet you de love decorating your house, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm it's just horrible. It's changeable, you know, so I'll, just, I'll, I'll set something up and it would be Yes, yeah, Sauber Flote, then, right? As soon as it's right, I'll want to scrap it. Uh, so this is good because you can hook, you can hang it up and it will sit you perfectly choices. well yeah. on the wall, or you can just move it around. I should learn to have everything freestanding, really. Uh, so tell us about this well, one. Is you could probably $80. rock it better. Yes, it is. It's it's like eight inches tall, and well, that's good um, to know. yes. So at the top damn eight inches, nice length of his wingspan. That's eight inches. Yeah. Nice strong and they, length. And they describe it as luster and sheen, which are good. Ooh, um, luster and sheen. Good adjectives to describe uh, oh my God. what you're getting. Okay, Deb has negative charisma. I've said this before. They describe it as luster and sheen, which are good adjectives to describe what you're getting. Thank you. Thank you so much for that incredibly valuable information. The manufacturers describe it as nice, which is a great adjective. Okay, everybody? Welcome to Demon Mama's stream. It is, uh, I would describe it as nice and funny, both of which are great adjectives to describe what you are watching right now. Like and subscribe, folks. In that, but um, we we do sell a lot of these, and I and I really wanted to highlight that today to show you because I had never seen one that stands before, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, and it does. They do wear well. Now he's got a sword, yes, which is quite fine, which you will have to take. Care no, of. no, that is not true, Sal Kitty. You never downsell. You never downsell. You only downsell if you have no other choice. That's why they don't call it a downsell. You lose money if you downsell. Nah. Nah. Because, you know, it is a fine, thin right. uh, uh, component. Protruding. Protru protruderance. Yes. But that would be the case no matter what it was made of, no matter what it was. You know, you do have to be a little bit careful, uh, no matter what material you're talking about, with that thin uh, element of it. But it is, but it does wear well. And right. I have to, I have to say, I have, with horror, knocked one or two of these things off the table from time to time. Never a mock on. Never a mock on. They, They're they, hefty. They, I mean, they, they, they are... Okay, see? Now that's not so bad. See, he's he's recovered it here. He does look like Mayo Pete here, doesn't he? He looks like Mayor Pete. Oh, shit. Substantial. Maybe he's going for the I'm Pete. A, I, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm using my hands a lot in the Mediterranean, you know, so I'm talking and I'll catch, you know, constantly books on the floor and things. You know, I do it all the time. And once in a while, I have this, like, moment of sickening horror and dread as I realize I've knocked something Do you have tips like and tricks? Off, you know? Right. I could. We're going to do a sales... I want to do a sales, like, expose stream where I talk about all the bullshit that goes on in sales and how to, like, spot manipulative sales tactics. But I don't really want to do it right here. 
All I can say is you don't fucking downsell ever. That's losing yourself money. One of the rules of sales, never undercut yourself and never undercut your own product. Ever. Never undercut your own product. Unless it's to make more money. No, it was Mayor Pete. Mayor Pete. Don't be racist to me. Sal, Sal Kitty, don't be racist to me. You can't just say mayo at me. You can't say that. Mary Impmas, hey, Posadas John, thank you so much. <laughs> oh no, no one's gonna get that reference, but uh, thank you, thank you, Posadas John. Hey, you uh, can't do that, lesbian them gamer. Has ever had a mark on them when nice. it's happened, nice. so yeah. they do wear well They're as quality. well. Now. <clears throat> We promised you a multi-sensory Christmas, <laughs> and it's so we've got nice we've had, we've had <laughs> we've had we've had touch with the holy water, we've had sound with the audiobook, we've had sight with the books, and now it is time for smell. <laughs> and, and so, oh, you're gonna have to pretend that we have smell a vision. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so difficult, isn't it, trying to explain to people what things smell like. We did it. We tried with the soaps. So I know, I know, I, I Berman, to, I know. I wanted to make sure I did this this way. You know, there's a... There's this, a I'm going to talk about that right now. Oh, because yeah, I, I forgot to do that on mine. I know. And someone had to point That's, it out. Okay, so um, so this is called the Seraphim Incense Burner. And it comes in this lovely box. And this is the company that... Wait, this is the best deal yet. What the fuck? A $35 incense burner like this? Wait, that's actually a good deal. Wait, that's actually a fucking good deal. What the? That's actually fine. This isn't a ripoff. What the fuck? Um, that we get them from, which, by the way, he he also. That said, the picture us. looks so much nicer than this. This looks like shit. This looks nice. That's a soft boiled egg holder. Could double as a soft boiled egg holder. Yeah, maybe duck eggs. Looks a little too small for chicken eggs, but definitely duck eggs. Or a little too big for chicken eggs. Definitely duck eggs, though. And he's a wonderful guy. And, um, Fair enough, fell guy. So when you get it at home, and it's first of all, it's both silver and gold. So you've got the the two two different metals going on. Um, it's made out of brass. <laughs> Sal Kitty says, "Demon Mama starts buying everything from Church Militant. They start going for some dummy nun play." You've revealed my secret plan. Mago says, uh, you're a fellow stoner, right? Do you have a favorite strain? Jack Herrera and Blue Dream. Oh, Indicas. Indicas, uh, Granddaddy Perp, fucking amazing. Um, ooh, and Afghan Kush, personally. Love those. Love them. Fucking love them. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mellow Anarchist, for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. But when you open it up, you can see, you can see the, Bubba Kush where is good the too. smoke comes out. Okay, but then when you get it, it's going to look like this, and you're going, well, I saw a picture of it, and it had a cross on the top. Well, for shipping, they take it off, and they put it inside. Wow. So you all you do is unscrew it. And um, She's it falling asleep. She's getting sleepy. And, it's nap time. And then okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, everybody, hold on, everybody, hold on. Just got to say, look. We've been real mean to Deb, but I gotta say, some nice fucking nail work, okay? She's got really pretty nail color and really clean nails, okay? Damn, that's some nice painted nails, okay? Those look like fucking shellac. Holy shit. All right, Deb, one point for Deb. Okay, I'll watch this afterwards. I'll watch this after. <laughs> I'll watch this afterwards. <laughs> Remind me after. I'll watch both yours and uh, the other one. And getting... She does! Cool. Yeah, I mean, Deb looks pretty old, but her hands look nice. Yeah, she's got good hand care. All right, credit to Deb for that. And, you know what? I'm gonna go one one further. Nice bracelet. This is a sick-ass... Look at the detail. You know what? Look, I want this. Will you sell this? That's sick. I want this ch weird chain Ouroboros bracelet. Damn, Deb. All right, credit to Deb. Credit to Deb. Credit where credit is due, everybody. Fucking credit where everybody, credit where due. Credit where credit is due. Wait. Mental snap. Yeah, I thought that was pretty clever. I have a special attachment to this item because this was- So Finn, thank me. you so much for the tier one <laughs> sub. Somebody very close to me, <laughs> physically as well as emotionally. <laughs> as a gift when I had first, when I first received Holy Communion for the first time in a decade, 
um, Ooh, from a very dear friend, <laughs> and I forgot to do this. On the dear friend is Michael Voris, by the way. Michael Voris gave him Holy Communion. On top, and so I, I posted a, a little video of, of me enjoying it, and one of the other lads who works here says, You've forgotten the cross! <laughs> 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 let me, let me move you wouldn't be the first person that that's happened. I'm to. sure, but it, it it's is just a little different the way they package it. But I'm glad they do because then it's all true. There and all true. Good. It is now correct in my home. <laughs> good. Do you know what? Gold and silver don't normally really go together, do they? Oh, I mean, see now. wrong. That's not true. They do. It depends on the it depends on the design, but they do. See, remember, Milo loves his gold. Milo loves his fancy metals. Ooh, does he love his fancy metals? And silver's just too cheap for his tastes. Look at my earrings. I love gold and silver oh, together. Well, see, see, maybe I've Ooh, been wrong about oh, this. Oh no, oh no. Ooh, he made a misstep. Fuck, he insulted Deb. They're yeah, nice too. Shit. Maybe I maybe I'm just wrong about that. Because I, I always think you should wear all yellow gold or all white. Can you imagine gold. Milo wrong? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since it's Christmas, I'm letting you R fucking roasted! Get away with all these, I all know, right. you're letting me get away with murder today. <laughs> <laughs> I would let you get away with murder. I would, I would. We, yeah. do, we what, are fond of each other. What was, what was it Trump said? No one's buying that, come on. The vibes are so fucked. No one is, no one is buying that. There is 0% chance. True, Capo. Come on, nobody fucking buys that. Said I could I could shoot someone in Madison Avenue and still get elected or something. Not that we're <laughs> advising that, but but yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, we do we do let uh, so we let each other get away. So anyway, this is I have to say such an amazing thing to have that just the the awkward quite aside Jesus even Christ, from awkward. the aromas and we'll get to some of the mm -hmm. incense that we sell. The way the smoke tendrils, yes, just just. Uh, weave out of these holes at the top and, and the manner in which and you know the other thing about the cross <laughs> getting to put it on it oh no 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 burning incense inside oh it's no no the cross, it's the cool bit that you can open and close and i didn't have that so i was burning my fingers <laughs> in the end i thought i'll use this little lever here and i'll try to close it i mean it was still too hot and the reason for that is that this it also serves a function of of opening, opening and closing it. yeah so tell us about so I don't well, know. You a, might be able to call. I don't think there's call-ins. I don't think they actually do call-ins. Well, different ways. And It'd be I cool, but they don't. So, I think they know so they'd get trolled. I can show you the disc. Um, I don't know. If you, can what you is use it, the it, tip of your pen? Because I'd like to show them. Because there's something... <laughs> Maybe a season Just two will have a producer. <laughs> Maybe. All right, well, look, okay, no. I will say... Another thing, since it's since it's Christmas and I'm being generous, I will say Milo hard carrying the banter. Just Milo hard carries this whole show, right? Can we acknowledge that? Once again, just the queer hard carrying everything. Just holy shit. So the charisma difference is stark. Oh, I've got it. Look. See, I there knew we it. Go. Wasn't there we go. <laughs> okay, so this, it's kind of looks like a little hockey puck, but it is. Oh, um, it's a hash coin! Wait, I know what this is. This is a fucking. This is hashish! Oh, they're fucking lighting up! Yeah, baby! Let's get the fucking hash coin going! Come on, let's do it! They're gonna fucking. They're gonna fucking uh, hotbox the fucking Christian bookstore! Yeah! Let's do it! Let's get turned! Yeah. So, um, when you get this. I haven't found that. Um, if you have a little tong. Uh, oh, to yeah, hold it's type it, of crypto. It's yeah, hot, it's type of crypto, what you're definitely. Do is, this is charcoal, and you're going to get it hot. You're going to burn it with, with your um, fire starter okay. and get it nice and hot like you would a fire briquette starter. on a fire on a barbecue. And then you're going to blow it out, and then you're going to have the ember. And once it gets to that level, you're going to get your tongs that you've had it on because now it's hot and you're going to put it in here. And then once you place it in there, you're gonna just put a pinch of the resin in the middle. Just a pinch. I want to smoke the resin. I want to smoke the resin. I want to smoke the resin. 
I want to smoke the resin. I you want can't to smoke, smoke the resin. resin. You can't smoke the resin. It's for upgrading our guns, dude. Like, we need to do that. Oh, thank God. Perfect. How do we do it? Where do we put Where the that on it? Do not use resin raisins until after Thanksgiving. I want to get <laughs> fucking high. I want to get fucking high. Incredible. Also, great video. I want to smoke the resin. Just put a pinch of the resin in I the I want middle. to smoke the resin. Just a pinch. You can't so smoke the resin. It's for Christ. No, I want to get fucking high at church. Which will keep the warmth going. Right. And the second one is these greens. Right. These are called resin. And this is the three kings. And we also have... Um, it's Catherine! Oh Cathedral. my god, you're right! Cathedral. That's right, so this the Three Kings incense is mm. frankincense, myrrh, and benzoine, which I've never heard of. Benzoine? Um, calling to mind the magi of the Christmas story. So that benzoine must be in place of gold, I guess. You know, it's gold, frankincense, and oh, myrrh. Oh, maybe it means the same thing. Maybe. It's fool's gold. <laughs> no, it's fool's gold, isn't um, it? <laughs> two ounces per bag. Um, mm -hmm. and, and you need very little, and you'll learn, you, you know, once you pinch. do it, and then, and then that hot, um, coal will Nope, it's a resin. Never mind, flavor. that's a resin. And it's it's not, very, very nice. it's, 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 I've got those. Be benzoin is just, is just, benzoin is just tree sap. Yeah, it's just tree sap. I've got, I've got the next product, I've got the cones. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think someone said between 20 and a half an hour, but I'm not positive about that. So Iron you, pyrite. More than right. enough to fill the room with a lovely fragrance mm -hmm. with the incense. Mm -hmm. And there are various different incenses available online. We've got the cathedral, so the cathedral incense, um, natural American resin, a cathedral incense. Uh, it's a I want to smoke that it! Be Let me smoke the resin! I want to smoke the resin! It'll give you that kind of flavor. Stop! Um, Stop giving it to Christ! I am a gom! I want to smoke the resin. And the Three Kings is specifically the, the frankincense, myrrh, and benzoin. And so um, these packets are give it fifteen dollars. But like I say, Christ smokes mids. I smoke that high good Thai terpene resin. Once you get used to doing this, you use very little. This is going to last you a long time. And then, um, I think yeah, it's a reference to Wayne.tv's gnome playthrough of Half Life Alex, which everyone should watch. It's fucking great. We're going to switch to the cones now. So if you don't use the charcoal briquettes, mm -hmm. and you instead want a, an all-in-one that will both burn like and smell. If you like easy and peasy, <laughs> like WayneRadio.tv. <laughs> There's the video right there. And you're not building this, um, which this is very nice. I mean, that's a whole different style. It's a nice fun... I want... We mask, Mama. We mask. We very mask. I'm a mask comb. I like something. Chuck it in. Thank you so much. So this again, you're going to use your um, fire, and you're going to get this. that. I gotta save this right now. Ember, and then blow out the the fire so that you have the ember, mm -hmm. and then you're going to put it in there, and just lower the lid, and that's that's all you have to do. With Thank that. you and for this art. This is so amazing. It, and, it, up. and it does. So Manny was, and Bo. Thank you so much. Huge, uh, earlier this year. And I took um, Trey Brock, who is a producer here. He produces okay. all the vortexes for Michael and Ooh, mic'd up the more uh, um, the documentary kind of you know, longer longer uh, series that we do as well. Uh -huh. uh, and we happened to be in this lovely old, uh, I think, it was, what was it called? Duffy's Tavern. And it was a lovely I don't think you're supposed to use a lighter. I don't know. Place, and they were very relaxed and chill about everything. They had a roaring fire. Nice. Um, and we were... We were we were only one of only two people with people in the dining room because it was getting late and I said would you mind terribly um, if I lit some uh, some incense and I had this all with me so I <laughs> it's crazy to do this in a restaurant but I, I, I am known for taking liberties so jazz dog says I just realized how much shit is on screen right now yeah dude jazz dog we live bro we live in the fucking overstimulation timeline Everything is maximalism all the time, especially here. Maximalism timeline. I have to smoke that as an oof, 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 punk, 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 punk. Gifts going all over the screen. I want to, I am gum. Don't put me down. Ah, Milo Yiannopoulos selling Christ Christian bullshit. Christmas lights, demon lights, demon mama, fucking ads over here, fucking, fucking. 
phone numbers, email addresses, socials. Subscribe to my Patreon. Fucking subscribe. Patreon. I know. We'll get the soundboard back next year. I promise. I know. I said... <laughs> Boom! Oh, you this? No, no, that sounds lovely. Vine boom. So I had <laughs> beautiful tendrils of smoke <laughs> as we were. We did a little whiskey tasting. Uh, oh, just, that's yeah, neat. just the night before I did my speech, we did a little whiskey tasting and said a prayer, and uh, and 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 had had this going, and it was these. It was the uh, the Wait. sent some uh, cones. Smell it. Mm. Any likers? It's Any likers? Some, Any it's likers? Not just Christmas, but it's like smells some, somewhat Christmas and also somewhat regal, somewhat. It's, uh, it's just, Christmas it's and Regal. Okay. I wish, wish we could get the smell, smell to you. Vision. <laughs> get, the, get the smell to you. But frankincense and myrrh. If you're familiar at all with incense for a mass, um, thank you for liking. There, thank you. Some of the same kinds Absolutely. of good imps you get on the you get on Demon Mama's like uh, you get on Demon Mama's nice list automatically if you like the stream. Nice list. Wow. It will make you more queer to like my stream. That is a fact. I can declare that as a fact. You are more queer if you like the stream, even if you're straight. Um, probably more concentrated in this. I'm really sneeze if now. you like twice, you're full on turbo gay. Just had a big nose full of it. <laughs> it's lovely, but it just, you sneeze if you get a nose of it. Um, absolutely love. What's the difference between Demon Mama's nice list and Santa's nice list? There's a lot. A blend of the gifts of the Magi. Um, these cones burn wonderfully. Uh, and do not need charcoal once they're lit. You get 25 of them for just nine dollars. Right. So wow. you can. I mean, Damn. I think that we were there doing our little whiskey taste. True. Before true. Before Jessica medals, and we only needed about three of these. So okay. Then once you've lit one, and then you just let it hang in the air for a little bit. You know, after about an hour, perhaps you'll do another one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you could expect. You know, is there 25? I guess hours worth of smell, if that makes sense. And then, did you just hold the bo the base of it and light it that way? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, so I held the the base of it and just lit the tip, right. and then just dropped it in. Just the tip. The lid. And just I, the I tip. didn't blow it out, but I think just it the tip. blew itself out when the lid closed because it. That's didn't true. Happen. That's okay. true. I do not invade your house or eat your cookies or drink your milk. And unless I really want to, and then I might. I might drink your milk, but only if I really like you. That's how it goes. But then it started smoking and it was fine for ages. Nice. Yeah, no, it was perfect. I have to say, I love the idea Damn, of Damn, Sauber everything. And once you get really into this, you are gonna want, you know, to, to, to vary up. But this is the easiest way, especially if you're a It is, rapper. but it's nice to have both, actually, depending on how long you have to start it and what it is you're doing and what scent you want. True, so lesbian gamer, Sunday. true. And you want to just sort mm -hmm. of relax and you want to, you know, maybe you have a shrine, you want to, you know, because sometimes when people pray, they, sort of, they want to faff a bit, you know, they want to kind of like, you know, adjust their statues. Right. They want to, you know. Faff. You, nice choice. You know, get the books all in line and whatever. And you might like the idea of having the tongs and just, you know, giving yourself a bit of, a bit of theater right. around your prayer life. Because people do like that sort of thing, you know. People do. Um, so, so they're nine dollars, and this was fifteen, and this. Don't is know, awesome. pros renegade. He disappeared. Oh yeah, that's gonna go last a long time. And then these, it's a shame. You, you get a he was funny. Could have been funny. Believe. And these are what four dollars for these? Not, not very much. Yeah. Not very much. Yeah, we've got, we've got too many items on this Christmas special <laughs> for our normal cards, haven't we? Those charcoal briquettes, ten briquettes, four dollars. So, so get yourself a couple of those. Get yourself one of those. One of those. And you'll be set for a good few months, won't right? You? Oh, yeah. Assuming that you Absolutely. use it every day, which of course most people will not. And we should, we should just not um, forget to talk about quite how beautiful this is. The handle on this is lovely. It's, and would you call that filigree? Uh, I think filigree is. I think it kind of is because filigree is when it's got holes in it, isn't it? So, oh, yeah. like you know, when it's when it's like swirly. Yeah, I don't. It's not, not really my specialist subject, um, but I think that you would describe it that way because it's it's sort of it's got holes in it. Like it's not it's not it. filigree. Come on, filigree. I guess it is. Can... Maybe I don't think so. I think filigree is much more fa much more fine than this. How lovely it is. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is. Is that is that can we really call that filigree? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. This is a really beautiful thing, and when it's, I have to say, when it's lit up, smoke's coming out, and you've got mm -hmm. your candles and everything, it really is just, um, it's a little bit magical, isn't it? It is. In having that Magical! Out hey! Home, hey! Know, when people come over... Hey! Magic's not allowed, bro! They're gonna take a look at it, like, hmm. 
People wonder what it is, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you have it out like this, it looks kind very mysterious. A, like kind this. of a inner, you know. That looks like an egg thing. Yeah. Focal Sorry, point. it does. Yeah, it looks no, like an it's egg absolutely thing. lovely. So. Looks like an egg. Let's review. Sorry, egg. Where we've been. So we've. Oh, had thank you so much. Life must exist. Sight, thank you so much. Sound, touch, smell. <laughs> what do we? What do we miss? I think we did Taste. It. Taste. Taste. Well, we don't sell anything edible. So. <laughs> <laughs> we don't sell anything edible, so we've done everything. <laughs> we did, we've done it. We hit a, every point that we wanted to. <laughs> Your multi-sensory Christmas. But we, hit, we also have a lot of other things on our store, and we just wanted to highlight these at this moment in time. And um, Okay, yeah, that's why you do a commercial. For each yep. of the books, there are different versions. If, if, if A Year with the Saints doesn't appeal to you, perhaps Mary will or the Angels. Um, if, if, you know, from some unfathomable reason uh, Psalms and Proverbs read by Myonopolis doesn't appeal to you. There are plenty of other <laughs> just kidding. There are plenty of other sets and things like that. So there, there, there are all sorts of, of things in each category he that, masked we've, that we've spoken he masked. about here. Oh, he Especially masked. in particular yeah, he the wonderful uh, statues we ex -gay, we ex -gay. we have featured and will continue to feature. Um, and this, you've inspired me to scurry home and light mine up again today. <laughs> it makes you want to do it. it yeah, does, they're fun. It? They're fun. And makes I just you want to do it. Sure, you, you heard it here. It makes you want to do it. You get that incense, you want to do it. You want to do it with God. You want to do it with your wife. You want to do it with Archangel Michael. You want to do it with Milo and, and Michael Voris. Everyone that has no, it has not. Life, life must exist. We not even that, a little bit. Um, that by this is literally one of the gayest things I've ever seen. Me too by buying through us that you know you're supporting us and um it really does help and i all right all right all right all right all right all right we got to the end of it we made it to the end everybody we did it i'm not gonna lie i am so thankful for this this truly is an infamous miracle that we got to go through another one of these these are the best are these not the most fun shit that we do isn't this like so good I don't know. I so fuck. I fucking love it. I love the the uncomfortable tension. I love how how dreadful all the items are. I love how overpriced everything is. I love how bad they are together. They have no chemistry whatsoever. Milo is hard carrying the whole thing, and it's miserable to watch. Fantastic, fucking amazing. Oh my god, so much fun to watch.